Welcome back to East Coast DNA. We're at day three of the Cavendish Beach Music Festival. Uh, we had a little bit of rain overnight, but today it seems to be holding off. So it looks like we have a good day ahead of us. Uh, now we have Griffin Palmer with us from Pickering, Ontario. Yep. So you've been doing the solo artist thing for a couple years as far as your discography. But when did you start as a musician? Oh, I mean, I started playing music when I was a little kid. My dad was always in bands and stuff, so I picked up instruments pretty young. I think I probably got my first drum set when I was like eight, and then learned guitar and piano and all that kind of stuff. So I've been doing it a long time, but uh, I moved to Nashville about five years ago to okay. start songwriting, and I mostly song wrote for other artists for, for years, and then I just put out my debut record last year, so I've really only been putting out my own music for like a year now. Well, you know, that's what I was wondering. I was like, where does he get the immediate success off of solo uh -huh. material? Like, sometimes there's usually, like, an old band or you switch genres so it's a new fan base mm -hmm. or something. But that's what you were doing, co-writes and... Yeah, so I kind of got into the songwriting route. Amazing. Yeah. But, so how was that as far as getting into that venue versus building an audience playing covers out there, like, where you jumped right in feet first with original content yeah i mean i don't know what it's like to do it any other way but oh sure uh it's kind of nice knowing that like your foundation in the creation of the music is pretty strong you know yeah. you're you know that you're able to write songs and they're they're good enough to get with your favorite artists and stuff like that so it gives you like a confidence to go out and make something for yourself after mm -hmm. and i think um it helps people around you um that are looking to work with you you know get excited about stuff because they love the the quality of the work, I guess. Yeah, yeah, amazing. So now, what led to you being here today at the Cavendish Beach Music Festival? Um, I, I don't know who got me here, but I'm excited that they did. Uh, this is a festival that I've wanted to play for a really long time, and I've heard okay. awesome things, and that's my first time PI. And amazing. Yeah, I'm just stoked to be here. Did you get any other sites in over the weekend then? Really, is there a last uh, we, day? We just got here yesterday. Okay. We went to Charlottetown, did a quick look around, yep. ate some seafood. Um, so I checked that off my you list. did it right? But I did it right. I wish I had a couple more days here because it's just so beautiful and I want to explore. But um, hopefully I'll, they'll invite me back and I can come again. So what do you have coming up in the next few months? Uh, do you, like it's been just over a year, I guess, or about mm -hmm. a year since you released the album. So do you have new content that you're building up to or are you looking to do a tour? Yeah, so that's what we're working on right now is uh, last year we did five tours in the States. Um, so we were really, really, really busy and not home a lot. And so... Uh, after Christmas, we kind of decided I just wanted to, you know, hunker down and start writing a, another record. So I've been doing that for a couple months. Um, this summer, you know, we obviously had shows and some festivals and stuff. We still have a couple more in Canada. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll just get some music out soon. And then ideally we'll get a, a new tour going and share yeah. it with the fans. And yeah. So you're writing that right out of Nashville? Yeah, out of Nashville, yeah. And so um, your backup performers that you would record with, I've asked this to most of the artists I've interviewed too, are, are they the same people you'd be performing with? Uh, so today we have actually a couple uh, guys from Canada that are that are cool. here. But my bass player is from Nashville, and, and he's with me today. Um, it really just depends on people's availability. Yeah, and stuff. for sure. But I try to keep the same guys together as yeah. much as I can. And where should I send people to find you guys online to dive a little deeper into your discography and yeah. keep track of those tour dates? You can check all my music on any streaming platform. Um, um, you can also go to my website, GriffinPalmer.com. Perfect. YouTube, any of that stuff. Yeah. And for new material and being that you're working with some Canadians, especially this weekend, I'm curious, you'd mentioned that you did like five American tours last year. Mm -hmm. Being that you're from Pickering, are you planning on doing a Canadian tour? I would love to. Yes. Um, it's just that it wasn't really on purpose. It's just kind of yeah. how it happened. Um, I have so many friends, artists that are Canadian that I'd love to go out with. Yeah, for um, sure. But yeah, they just got to call me up. <laughs> Amazing. That's a... Well, if you do plan on coming back up north and doing some Canadian dates, make sure that you let me know what they are. I'll send them out through our social media as well. Sure. So that some extra little people maybe see what's going on. Yeah, or, hopefully the... we make it back on this side of the country. Yeah, and if you do, uh, reach out and we'll do a little deep dive into what's been going on too. Awesome. Is there a performance today? Yeah, I had two performances today, yep. like 5 o'clock, Writer's Round, mm -hmm. um, with some other great artists, and then I play at 7, seven o'clock, 7 o'clock at the Kitchen Stage with the band. So I'll try to capture some of that uh, performance as well, so we can kind of segue out. We've been able to do that with all the other interviews so far this week. Sure. So we'll keep the format and give everyone a little taste of you live. Okay. Uh, the Songwriter Circle, I'm definitely going to be there, because I've been to the last two as well, and... 
quick shout out to Jason Benoit. He's on every one of them. So it's, it's oh, yeah. working He's pretty hard. Less. Yeah. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. No, it's been a, it's a great format. I really like having that as the secondary stage, a little cool area when the sun's out, you can get out of it for a little bit. Mm-hmm. So uh, the seven o'clock stage is that the Clouding Tate tide yes. season? Yes. Yeah. All right, so we'll be looking forward in uh, 2025 or maybe the next couple of years for you to be on the main stage. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And definitely, like I said, reach out and let me know if you are coming back up this way. And for everyone out there watching, go out and follow them online. And in the description below, there's a link to the website. And uh, we'll let you get back out there so you can perform. And we'll leave everyone with some of that performance now. Thanks. Thanks again.